cute little Pan has only one quest, one goal that keeps her going, one drive that gets her through all her obstacles, and that is her need to kill sentient logs. That's right. Even if these sentient logs try to get out of their own destruction by trying to teach Pan how to create fires with flint, no, Pan does not care about flint to use for firewood. She only cares about destroying sentient logs. And this is the story of the next generation of Dragon Ball Z fighters. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. So after Pan's wilderness training, she heads over to Master Roshi's house because Goku left specific instructions for her to search for Master Roshi and have him train her in the martial arts. But before the training can begin, a new opponent has entered the fray. This guy looks seriously badass. I gotta tell you guys, it's been a while that I've been wanting to cover Dragon Ball Kame. And the reason I haven't is because things have just been popping up. Dragon Ball news has been dropping. Other Dragon Ball fan mangas and stories have caught my eye for me to jump on. But the main reason that I've been wanting to cover this is mainly due to this villain. This guy, his story, we don't get much of it in the first few chapters. But just his introduction alone, he looks like a cross between Hit and maybe Frieza in a sense, maybe Jiren a little bit in there. We don't really get a sense of what his special abilities are besides the fact that he's extremely powerful, but I am in love with this design. If anybody knows of any art or fan art for this character that's colored and that looks really badass, let me know in the comment section below, drop me a link and I'll go ahead and check it out because this guy's design it's just superb. It's definitely vintage Dragon Ball and I love it. Now, not only is his design badass, but his introduction to the story is equally as badass. I mean, Master Roshi's asking him questions, what do you want, who are you, answer me, and then he responds with, know this, I've already killed you once, and blast him into the house. I just, this is my favorite panel in the first couple chapters of this Dragon Ball fan manga. I don't know why, I just love the seriousness behind him and we're gonna get a little bit more of his backstory or his mission here in the next page. So he knows who Pan is. He says that our paths cross once again. Now, keep in mind, Pan at this point has just started her Dragon Ball journey. And he states, I hope at this age you can finally tell me where he's hiding. So that to me means that he's met her before, maybe a parallel universe, maybe he's going through time and he's seen her as a baby, but he's looking for a character named Aisu and he's looking for the five star pendant. Now that's the name of this chapter and that's extremely important to the future of Dragon Ball Kame. Now, she has no idea what the hell he's talking about, so he ends up just blowing up the house, and she rescues Master Roshi in the Maelstrom. Even though her training's not complete, I mean, besides the wilderness part, she attacks this dude, and he dodges every single one of her attacks, up until he pushes her back with just a thrust of his key. She charges him, and then he easily blocks, and yeah. I guess whether you have short hair or long hair doesn't really matter, your hair can still get pulled in a fight. Thanks Gohan. Now this dude is furious, he throws her down and gives her one last chance to answer his question, but of course this version of Pan has just started her journey, she has no idea what he's talking about, and he ends up blowing her up, torturing her with key blasts. Before he goes too far, he's stopped by two other beings that look exactly like him, but fatter versions of him, smaller, shorter. They seem to be his supervisors because they're kind of holding the reins on this guy and we find out that this guy's name is Kren. These guys kind of remind me of the two brothers that went to try to find Vegeta's brother in that one special. You guys know who I'm talking about, these guys. Now Kren is out for vengeance and these guys remind him that he seeks vengeance 
then that is going to ruin their plan. So it's going to put him in jeopardy. So he needs to stop what he's doing now. But Kren does not care. He wants to exterminate Aizu. I guess that's his plan. He's looking for Aizu to get revenge on this dude. He's not really out for revenge against Pan. And these guys are still not having it. They're reminding him that their main goal is to get their hands on something called Shala. And they tell him that if he does not come with them, then they're going to have to get somebody else to bring him back, which to me sounds like they're going to get someone stronger, maybe somebody further up the food chain, and he decides to leave. And he leaves Kami's Island in destruction. Now we cut to Bulma and Bola having an argument. Bulma is sending Bola to Kami's house to train. And the reason she's doing this is because Goku asked her to do this when Bola comes of age. So basically, Goku's trying to set up the next age of Z Fighters. And it's unclear whether this is after Dragon Ball GT or when this actually happens in the timeline because Goku is gone. So I'm assuming this is after GT. Also, Bulma is looking a lot like her future self, so definitely think that this is after GT, but Bulma does not want to go. She thinks that Kame's place is going to be weird. She's heard weird stories. She does not want to go. What Bola wants to do is she wants to see her dad. She only wants to talk to her dad. And Bulma reveals that both Vegeta and Trunks have gone missing as well. So yeah, the next generation of Z Fighters is definitely the main point of this Dragon Ball fan manga. And I'm completely loving it. And finally, she convinces Bola to go to Kami's Island because, of course, her best friend Pan is going to be there. And that completely changes Bola's demeanor. She wants to go now. Guys, in the end, this Dragon Ball fan manga is definitely setting up some really strong roots and it's got an extremely hard task ahead to try to create a fan manga that tells the story for the next generation of Z Fighters. Let's just hope that it does better than this piece of trash. This is going to be Blackscape, signing off. Take care, guys.